So I'm about to whip up some caramel popcorn for my family and I thought that I would share it with you guys. It's something that people who are gluten-free, dairy-free, um, or trying to have a low saturated fat diet can enjoy. So it's a great snack to have on hand. It's not healthy. It's got lots of sugar. It's got corn syrup. I have MS and so I'm always trying to find a snack that's low in saturated fats because the saturated fats, especially the animal saturated fats, cause a lot of inflammation. I know sugar causes inflammation too. Can't win them all. This is what I'm using today, homemade popcorn. The size pan I use. And a lid for the pan. And I'm just gonna follow the directions on the popcorn. This actually says to use three tablespoons of oil for half a cup of popcorn. I'm just using two tablespoons. You can even use one tablespoon, it's fine. So, we're gonna do two. Half a cup of popcorn kernels. I'm going to put the lid on and then turn to medium heat. The oil that we use is olive oil, big giant jar for our family of eight. Um, but this is what I use to avoid the animal saturated fats. I think this is a healthier option. I'm not a health expert, but I know what works for me and I'm, I'm learning what's more and more healthy. So initially before it starts popping, I'm just kind of coming over maybe every minute, minute and a half, giving it just a little shake and then tilting the lid back up so that the steam can escape. As it heats a little more, I'm gonna shake it every 30 seconds or so. Starting to pop. When the popping starts to slow down, that's when you're gonna take it off the heat. Kind of just like when you're making popcorn in the microwave. Since we're missing the butter, and I still like the salty flavor that butter gives it, I'm just gonna salt it a little bit. I already had one batch of popcorn in here, so this is actually two. I'm doing a double batch. For my big family, I say that, but then I am not eating most of it, so whatever. We're gonna start with two cups of dark brown sugar. I'm actually doubling the recipe, so I'm going to do four cups. One cup of caro syrup. I have the light corn syrup. Since we're trying to stay healthy, I'm very aware that this is not a healthy snack, but it's a snack and it's gluten-free, dairy-free. No saturated fats from animals. So normally, if you're just doing the single recipe, it be, would be two cups of brown sugar, half a cup of carrot syrup, and a quarter cup of olive oil. But I'm gonna put half a cup since I'm doubling it. All right, we're gonna take it to the stove and put it on high and we're gonna stir it constantly so that it doesn't burn to the bottom until it turns into a really liquidy caramel. Before the caramel starts cooling off. 
off and gets hard and sticky. Warning, the bowl gets super hot because you've got boiling sugar in there. When it starts cooling down, it will stick really bad to this metal bowl. So what I like to do is get some wax paper and set it out on the counter. And then scoop this onto there before it hardens to the bowl. And then lately I've been making little snack size caramel corn balls, which are perfect for me for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Two or three popcorn balls will do per meal. to touch so okay, I'm just gonna get about this much shape it into a little ball stick it back in my bowl and I'm gonna do that until it's all gone now don't pack it too tight it tastes better if you leave it kind of fluffy so just pack it as much as you need to just so that it sticks just kind of loosely <laughs> Good.